Well, I think this might be the final stop uh, of my road trip. I'm at Sanford and Wife Antiques. Hopefully uh, we find something here. I'm, I didn't do much research, so I just kind of pulled off the side of the road. So uh, let's go in and see what they got. Okay, this is awesome. All right, let's start. $10, that's a yes for me. Uh, 12 on this one, that's really pretty. I'll take that. Whoa, hold up, look at that. Oh my gosh, I have to know how much that is, that's gorgeous. <gasps> oh my God, 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 look at that. Is it broken on the inside? Oh yeah, it's broken, that's why it's $50. The little chair with the mirror, the Victorian. That black rose bowl is 25. Oh my gosh, look at that Dave Fetty egg, what? Okay, I have to know. <clears throat> This is stopped. Nope. That will get someone's attention. This is not signed. It's really cool though. I'm gonna do some research on that. Um, this is amazing. It's really pretty. 25 on that. I love black glass. It's more of an amethyst. All right, now what about this? That's really pretty. 15 with the heart. That's a steal. I bet that glows. Oh my gosh. Cat. $20. Look at this guy. Oh, how amazing. Oh my gosh. I almost feel bad Jocelyn's not here for this. That's epic too. Probably going to get both of those. But uh, let's keep going. In the meantime, here we have. That's really pretty. Gosh, look at that little Stevenson Williams style. I'm still thrown off by the egg. Oh, the hearts, that's at 55, that's not a bad price. And the jar, that's at 50, that's so pretty. I'm super, super overwhelmed, of course. That's like the story of my life. Um, I'm gonna sift through some of this other stuff, take a step away from the glass case there. Oh my gosh, look at these. Five dollars each with the umbrella. I'll take all of them. I love the candlesticks. Those are at 24 for the pair. That's a steal. 28 on that rose bowl. It's got the glossy finish. Oh my gosh, what are these? Pair candle holders. Fifteen dollars. Those are really pretty. I think for fifteen. It's kind of a steal. I don't know how well they do. Um, look at this little carnival glass piece with the, what looks to be a goat. That's kind of interesting. Imperial creamer, $7. That's cool. I'll take both. And then look at this little vase. That's cute. That looks like Oda Jerry, $3. I'll take that. Look at this dog planter. That's adorable too. $9. He's pretty great. We'll take him. Oh my gosh, look at this frog. It's Italian. It's repaired though. Look at Weirdo Santa. <laughs> He's pretty great. 15, that's a little close on him. Oh my gosh, look at the Santa lights. Those are so fun. All right, a couple more little bases. Vases. Ah, uh, that one's got a little too much wear on the chip. This is pretty with the hand painting. Westmoreland, $9. It's got grapes on it. That's kind of fun. What's this girl? She is $13 and coming with us. Easy. Some really neat pottery. Hmm. $3 on the little star vase. That's fun. I feel like, why not, right? What's this one? $3. It's signed. That's cool. I think I'll take both of these. Just gonna get a very eclectic mix here, it looks like. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's made in Japan for sure. $10? Are you kidding? Hold on, I got too much going on. I really wasn't expecting to do this today. Oh, I got too much. That is insane. Look at it, it's like brand new. And the handle on it. Yeah, for $10, that is coming with us for sure. 
jewelry cases. $100 on their hair comb, which is freaking epic. I mean, he's one of my cousins. Oh my gosh. Look at that paperweight. That looks like something. This is kind of cool, even though it's probably contemporary Chinese. And then over here. Hmm. Wow. Let me just like keep looking straight. Uh, that looks like. No, I don't think it is. Just kidding. Um, look at the Stevens and Williams. It's broken though. They usually are. This little crackle glass vase is pretty nice. It's only five dollars. I'll take that. Oh no, it's got a big spot of damage. Just kidding. Dude, what? German Mickey Mouse clock? With both its hands? I'm looking that up immediately. Although I'm gonna get it either way. It's like, come on. Alright, I think we have to know how much are on the left in ducks. Five dollars each. I had a feeling. Yep. I think uh I think we're gonna take all this. And look at these guys. Oh my gosh, how fabulous. One rabbit's candle. Oh, they're so great. Is it for the pair? I think it is. Oh my gosh, look at the choir boys uh, heads. This is amazing. Really, really, really eclectic, which is what I really love. Oh my god, look at the clown noise. The devil? What? Hold on. This is insane. 35. I'm buying that. 30. Wow, I'll take that. Fun world, black cat. And uh, look at the pitchforks. Those are amazing with the original candy in them. How much are these ones? 30 each. It's so amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and the little no, uh, tape measures, the cat, and what I believe to be is the apple tape measure as well. And this compact here. Well, I did take the little apple measuring tape and the cat 10 and 15. The compact is amazing, but I did put it back. It was a little close for me. Wow, look at the shopper girl. 100 bucks, that's a steal for that planter. Oh my gosh, this Howard Pierce piece. $25, I'm taking that. That's insane, I've never even seen that before. Not even in California and all the antique malls. <gasps> I say they're $15 a piece. The mannequin hands. Can you get this box in your car? I love the Lisa Larson, but $100. I think that might be too close, but look at this piece I picked up. It's Italian. It's double-sided. It's $100, and it's coming home with me. All right, now let's see what else we got. That Fenton Amberina is pretty, but meh. Baccarat. That's a nice decanter, even though it's clear and it's not my favorite thing. This is just like really, really crazy. Completely unexpected. I'm like making sure I'm not missing anything. Blanco, Blanco. Oh my gosh. Now this is cool. $20, it's this one. This is the one, I kind of feel like, it's pretty wonderful. I feel like I might need that. All right, and now I see the cats. 75 and $20. Well, that's cheap for the cat. Not crazy, crazy about it. Oh my gosh, but this little rose bowl back here is 10 bucks. And that's a yes, for sure. It's really pretty. And then down here, a little blotter. $12. It's got a little spot on the bottom, but for $12, that's okay. And look here, the little snail egg with the beaded flowers. Oh my gosh. All right, I think it's about time to get back in here. That's at 20. Um, that's a pretty good price. 
and I didn't see what was on that. I'm not a big fairy lamp or, or bell person. We have to see the little hands. And I'm still, ooh. Blanco Amberina Scorpion, that's cool. And um, I'm still confused about the egg. This guy is so cool. Okay, so I actually, I'm gonna go with my gut and say it's not, but I'm gonna grab the Blanco and uh, do a little bit more investigation. It's getting kind of late. I spent way too much time uh, here. I didn't expect to do all that today. Wow, I didn't even really look up here. Is there anything up here? I need that little basket, it's amazing. But I think uh, I'm just gonna go down here and hit the road. So the box with the original price tag, really pretty fountain, 20. Uh, again, on the blue coin dot base, 20. The little hand painted fennet duck is signed, and that's at 22. I'm gonna be taking that as well as this blank out for 12 bucks. Well, good grief, I wasn't expecting to do that. I spent $650 in there. Uh, I cleaned out the Halloween case, I just couldn't leave them. And I'm getting the car to make one quick stop off camera to a very special gift shop I know down the street, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.